the differences between Ableton Live Standard and Suite can seem relatively minor but it can be a real big problem if you choose the wrong version. With the Ableton 12 upgrade, Ableton have left out some of the new advancements from the standard package, which may leave you questioning whether it's actually worth it compared to all the amazing features Suite has to offer. In this video, we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison of the two different versions and figure out which one is best for you. I'll also let you know which version I started out on and let you know if that was the right decision or not. The first thing is to look at is the main differences. So if you look at the overview here, you can see the key features between standard and suite remain the same. Where you're gonna notice the difference between the standard and the suite version is with the amount of software instruments you get, the amount of packs, the amount of presets, the amount of audio effects. So let's first look at the software instruments limitations and find out if you actually need them. You don't have bass, operator, poly, sampler, wavetable, meld, and granulator three. Now, the last two here, Meld and Granulator, are some of the new flagship instruments from Ableton 12. So not having those two updates is something to consider. If you've been looking at some of the adverts online and really excited about getting hold of those two instruments, they are not included in the standard package. So next, let's look at the audio effects and see which ones are not included in the standard package. All the effects that are not included in the standard version are Amp, Cabinet, Color Limiter, Convolute Reverb, Echo, gated delay, hybrid reverb, pedal, pitch hack, pitch loop 89, re-enveloper, spectral blur, spectral resonator, spectral time, surround panel, and raw. Now, most of these are your kind of standard average audio effects that you could download from elsewhere. There are lots of free plugins available. Spectral resonator, spectral time, surround panel, and raw are very unique to Ableton Live. So if they're audio effects you're aware of and looking forward to getting hold of, they will not be in the standard versions. Also notice RAW is not included in the standard version, which is another flagship upgrade to Ableton 12. Now let's look at the pros and cons of each version in a bit more detail. Standard is an amazing middle ground. It has all the full key features of Ableton Live with unlimited track and unlimited scene count. I think for most producers, this will be a solid choice. Pro, you can open any third-party plugins within Ableton Live. This means you probably won't feel the difference between Ableton Live Standard and Suite, and you could save yourself a lot of money. Another pro is that you can always upgrade at a later date. This also helps you spread the cost of over time and making it feel a little less painful. The biggest con for me is that you do not get the access to the new Ableton Live 12 instruments and audio effects, such as RAW, Granulator 3, and Meld. These three things are amazing, and if I was to buy standard and I didn't have them, I would miss them. Another con is that you don't have all the samples, all the other instruments, all the other packs and audio effects that are available in Suite. And the last con is that you do not get Max for Live included in the standard package. You can buy it as an add-on from Ableton Shop, but it's not included within the price. Let's now look at the pros and cons of Suite. It's ideal for any serious professional producers or sound designers out there. This is the complete package. It has all the key features Ableton Live has to offer, plus all the audio effects, instruments, packs, samples. It has everything basically that Ableton Live has to offer. Another massive pro is that you have all the advancements of Ableton Live 12. Another pro is that you get access to Max for Live where you can download custom made plugins and even have a go at making a custom plugin yourself. One con is that you can't downgrade. So if you buy the package and you feel, hey, I don't actually need all this stuff. We can't then downgrade it to standard. I think the biggest con, which is the elephant in the room here, which is the price. It's pretty pricey, which leads me on to the next section of the video, which is price. Standard is £259 and Sweet is a whopping £539, almost double the price, which is a big price increase. Now let's discuss which version is right for you. If you're new to music production and you're looking to get started with Ableton Live, maybe if you're just looking for some casual use of Ableton Live, maybe you're a student, Standard would be great for you. If you're looking to use it to host your backing tracks on stage, it is perfect for that need. You won't need all those extra features that Sweet has to offer. You have everything covered to create an amazing live show. Also, if you're thinking about using Ableton Live to predominantly record audio, so you're a singer-songwriter, drummer, audio engineer, 
and you don't need all those extra samples, audio effects, instruments, and you just want Ableton Live to capture audio, Ableton Standard is for you as well. Now let's look at who I think Sweet is for. Sweet is for somebody that's looking for the full Ableton Live package. Someone that's looking for all those new advancements, Ableton Live 12, and someone that wants their own self-contained music creation experience. Now this feels a bit strange saying this, that Sweet is ideal for beginners. It feels like the more advanced version of Ableton Live. But the reason why I say that is because you have everything. You have all the instruments, all the samples, packs, audio effects, MIDI effects, you have everything. So if you're starting out, you might not have any external or third party plugins that you can import and open up into Ableton Live. So this would be your one stop place for all your music production needs. With that said, looking at the price, it could be quite a good deal for you because you wouldn't have to buy any of these extra things to include in standard. Ableton Live Suite is also a good option for people that have been using the free trial. As the free trial of Ableton Live is sweet, you get used to all the features and all the amazing things it can do. And then if you downgrade, you can find yourself feeling limited without some of the features. Now, if I've sold Sweet to you and you're thinking, thanks, Greg, I have no money. I now need Sweet in my life. Let's now look at some price hacks and see if I can save a bit of money for you. In some countries, Ableton gives you the option to spread the cost over three payments. So this makes it a little less painful if you're thinking about buying Ableton Live Suite, you can spread the cost over three installments. Now the other price hack is this up here, which is educational offers. Now at present, students and teachers get 50% off, which is massive. Now this does fluctuate, so you have to check this regularly depending on when you're watching this video. This is the highest it's been in a long time. Usually it's about 40%, which is still really good, but 50% is an absolute steal. So if we scroll down, that makes Ableton Live Suite very affordable. It comes in at £269, which bear in mind all the instruments, audio effects, samples and packs you get. That is a very, very good price. And just as before, you get the option to pay in three installments. So this makes Suite a very tasty option. Now, you're also thinking, yeah, but Ableton Live Standard Craig, £129. And if you think you might need to upgrade at a later date, using the educational offer is probably not for you. And this is the reason why. Scroll down here, it says, can educational licenses be upgraded? Yes, but the educational discount is only available when buying a new license and cannot be applied to the upgrades. So depending on how much the upgrade is from standard to suite, it might actually cost you more in the long run to buy standard and then upgrade to suite at a later date. Okay, if you made it this far, you're probably wondering which version do I think you should get? I think for most people, whether you're a beginner, professional, student, etc., standard is a solid choice. You always have the option to upgrade at a later date and you have all the key features of Ableton Live. Having said that, if you are a full-time student or a teacher, I would absolutely recommend getting the suite version on the educational discount. It will work out cheaper in the long run and you won't need to upgrade at a later date. I first started out as standard. I got it on an educational discount because I'm a teacher myself and was happy with it for years. The only reason I upgraded was because I was working as a session musician, covering for someone and their version of Ableton Live was sweet and I needed all the features. Having said that, since I upgraded, I've never looked back. Having the option to upgrade at a later date is fantastic because it means you can spread the cost over time. So it makes purchasing Ableton Live Suite feel a little less painful. If you do get Ableton Live, like a little bit help getting started, I have a bunch of videos in this playlist here to help you. See you in the next video.